Hello and welcome, welcome lovely people to Yoga Solutions with me, Mark J. Aquaviva. Uh, I've just got back from the World Yoga Festival, which I thoroughly enjoyed. It's a, I had a wonderful time with Abigail and um, yeah, I treated it as a little camping holiday. Uh, but um, yeah, I was teaching, of course, and um, had a couple of sessions and yeah, <laughs> The, the, the feedback I got mostly was, oh my God, you've destroyed my practice, which is, um, uh, I, I'm smiling, but that's not my intent. Um, what, what, I want, uh, what I want to do is I want, to, uh, I want people to pay attention to their own bodies because their bodies are talking to them all the time. And the thing that I see at, at festivals and places where the majority of people are sort of just going through the postures uh, as their yoga practice, um, is that they don't, they don't, they're not given time. They're not given time or they're not even invited to explore how they are doing it. They are told how to do it and then they do it. And um, for me, okay, there's nothing wrong with it if you enjoy exactly what you're told to do or maybe you enjoy being, being told to do something. <laughs> uh, I'm not one of those people. Uh, uh, I like to feel good whilst I do things. Um, it's hard to get me to do anything. I don't feel good whilst I'm doing it. So even if there's something I don't want to do, I find a way of enjoying it, you know? So um, that's my personality. But um, yeah, the, the thing that, um, yeah, the, the thing I, that I would, uh, that I brought that destroyed everyone's practice was just paying attention to how it feels and how they feel whilst they're doing the thing and what's their motivation and um uh yeah so that's that's why when uh, my my work uh, when i present these things it's always really broken down and really slow it's it's to break down things into their individual components because um i mean if you're in if your intention is to achieve the posture then just do the posture it's fine um you're, miss you're missing a trick. You're missing the art of improving the quality of your experience through, um, it's more a case of becoming strong at doing the same thing over and over again. So uh, it might make you not able to um, flow in a breath by breath thing between postures. But that actually is the goal, you know, is to, is to be able to become so easy in your body and your movements that the outcome is natural flow where you just decide to move and it's free and easy. But, um, yeah, pushing yourself through doesn't make any sense whatsoever to me, but uh, it might make sense to others, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so that's the key thing. It's the, it's the breaking down of the individual components, the, the being interested in each part of the whole picture. So uh, that being said, I, th I thought I'd just do something simple like dog pose again today. Um, dog pose is a good old staple. We all do it uh, all day, every day. If you're a yoga fanatic, um, let's put this camera on. Yeah, so uh, breaking things down. Um, yeah, let's see. So there's very little point in doing the posture and then trying to break it down whilst you're in it. Because, you know, if, if you hold yourself away from the ground and then push yourself up, then when you get there, the stuff, the stuff you used to get yourself there uh, has to be held because um, it's keeping you away from the ground and it's keeping you in position. So I, I, I didn't stay in it any length of time because I, I don't like it. Um, you know, this first part where you're here and you've done the thing of spreading your hands and you're putting your weight down, but actually what you're doing is you're holding yourself away from the ground with the spine. The reason being, because if you don't, it feels, it feels uncomfortable, you know, it feels collapsed. So, you know, and, and, and if you arrive at that arrangement, all that stiffness around the back, around the neck and shoulders um, will require that you push the ground away with your shoulders. That, keeps that arrangement in place the, the the biggest problem is how to be supported rather than working out how to do the posture 
and uh, put, and you know I heard yoga teachers shouting push the ground away which is um, you know you're pushing your support away you're fighting with your own support what, what you need to do is feel supported which you do you know when you're here you feel supported by the ground I don't know if you can hear me down here I'll bring the mic up closer just in case uh, yeah I'll bring it down here there we go so here it may or may not be comfortable depends on how you've arrived but it's pretty clear that the ground is underneath you and you can give your weight to it and giving your weight means relaxing not holding it away from the ground if you were, it wouldn't make any sense to hold yourself here uh, thinking that was the posture you relax you let go of your weight and the thing that makes this possible and feasible for most people understandable is that no effort is required to feel supported the, the key aspect is that you've let go of your weight from your spine your spine is no longer holding your weight away from the ground and you kind of want that to stay with you if you're going to find what I would call actual support. So the way to experiment with that is to just put one hand down. I'm turning my face to the camera so you can hear me. But just put one hand down and press down enough to see if that can make you feel a little bit lighter. And it won't be very successful. It won't be very successful until you use your hand to send the shoulder back behind you. So a little bit of down and away from you, which is part of the posture, a little bit of down through the hand, and then away from you, means you've got something to lean into. Another caveat is if you have to lock the arm to feel supported, you're not actually using your, you're not actually in relationship to the ground, you're in relationship to holding yourself at the elbow. So the effort of supporting yourself with one hand you put the hand down you press down uh, until your face feels a little bit lighter and then you push away just a little bit so that your shoulder is propped back not so that you're not to push yourself away from the ground but to send your shoulder back and then what you get is the spine between the shoulders can lean towards the hand through the shoulder if the shoulder's doing the pushing, it, it doesn't give you any support. So that, that arrangement of bones, that arrangement of structure, is the thing that means you can rest your weight from your spine into that hand. And the, the head doesn't have to be picked up because the head is attached to the spine. And just from the continuity of the neck from between the shoulder blades to the head means you can relax your neck without your head being unduly heavy. In fact, the down of the hand is the thing that made your face light. Just the down part makes your face light. And then the leaning into it and using it to send your shoulder back is what allows you to give the weight of the spine to the ground. Okay? That's one hand. Then the other one, down and a little bit away from you to put the shoulder up behind you. And then you're in a situation where you don't have to hold your head up. So... See if you can check that you're not doing that. The way to find out is to let go in order to breathe. I don't mean let go of your support. You have to be supported. That's what you're trying to work out, is how to support yourself. So, the way to experientially, somatically feel what it means to be supported in, in my terms, in my terminology, is to let go of your weight in order to breathe. But what you're letting go of your weight into is the thing that you're doing to support yourself, which is down through the hands and a little bit away from you. So in other words, your hands catch your weight as you breathe. The experience that follows is nothing to do with um, what the body is doing, what you're doing with your arms. It's to do with feeling supported by the arriving breath. As in, there'll be a little sort of pick up of the scruff of the neck provided you're not lifting your head 
and that's the breath supporting you away from the ground. If when you release the breath, you make sure that the weight of what you're doing is transmitted to your hands in a down and away from you feeling, when you let go of that breath, it's just an internal release. And it's a release of your weight. And because the spine between the shoulders is sitting on the hands, because the hands going down allows your face to be light, and the spine between the shoulders is the thing that drops with the release of the breath, which is the spine elongating, that roundness in the upper back, reversing slightly because you let go of tension, is the thing that causes your spine to get longer in a real way. As people think of elongation, as, uh, that they mistake uh, lifting for elongation. So, if you found support from your hands in a downward way, which allows your face to become light, in an away from you way, which allows your shoulders to be propped up behind you so you can rest your weight through it, explore the feeling by letting go of your weight into what you're doing in order to breathe. That should move you in space somewhere without you having to lift. So the head will become a little bit lighter. If the weight as you are is supported by your touch, as in you can let go of your weight, and you can test that by holding the breath temporarily. See if you can float. Then when you let go of the breath, you just let go inside, but you let go into what you're doing, which is supporting yourself. And the outcome is the thing that we're looking for. Spine elongates. Okay, part, that's part one. Part two is to move it onto all fours. And if you have to change what you're doing to do that, then you'll probably get lost. So I would suggest just nudging the knees towards the feet without changing the feeling of resting down through your arms now. The arms are dropping down in that direction along with the weight so your face can feel supported by your hands and the away from you feeling allows the shoulders to be behind you so that the spine can drop through if you've got that going on then you can roll your weight around the hands just to see if being with your downward touch as evenly as possible as you move it'll be your legs doing the moving as evenly as possible, so that the touch remains constant, then you have the option to be over your hands as you breathe, and then over your feet as you release the breath. So you get an experience of not having to push the ground away. It's simply rolling your weight, which is sitting on the hands, so that it can come off the knees and onto the feet as well. And that is part one, how, how to not have to push the ground away with your shoulders. I shall um, do part two in a moment for, to, uh, for the complete version of this um, Yoga Solutions, but that gives you an idea. Uh, and you can go through the same process with your legs. Uh, you know, how do your knees support you? You know, have you got a relationship to the ground through the knees or are you just heavy? You know, are you just plonking your weight there or are you involved with your support? Tips of the toes, you're going to transfer the weight to the feet. So you want your feet, the, uh, the front end of the feet, which is your active kind of proprioceptive part of your touch with your feet. Heels are for releasing towards rather than pushing, you know. Um, if you explore how your touch supports you, because uh, without the leg end, um, working out the leg end, you're probably going to be doing things to hold your pelvis, which will get in the way of the freedom of movement. But um, yeah, break it down. Break it down into its component parts and explore each part with a kind of principle-based idea. And the, the simple principle is I want to be able to let go of my weight and feel supported. That support has got a quality to it. It's got the quality of uh, you trust your support. So you will be in your hands. You will be in your feet um, in relationship to the contact that is supporting you. 
you'll be engaging with those things rather than engaging with organizing your body and space and holding it there if that makes any sense of course it you know it's it slows dog powers right down but when if you just follow that i'm guessing if you come up and, and you're sitting or something now i'm guessing your neck and shoulders feel pretty good your upper body should feel pretty good with that okay and that's that's what i do yoga for isn't it it's not to get strong at doing dog pose or any other posture it's to use the postures as a framework to explore how i interact with the world and finding principle based uh, looking for principle based outcomes i want to feel supported i don't want to have to hold myself anywhere I want to let go and be free to be where I wish to be. <laughs> okay, uh, that, that's my intention. If your intention is to build up muscles, then that's different. If your intention is to hold the posture, to be strong enough to hold the posture for as long as, uh, uh, for longer than anyone else, uh, that's different. Uh, but it's all good, you know, it's your, it's your intention that determine uh, the, the intention behind the practice, what do you wish to achieve from it, well, approach the posture with that intent and see where it where where it goes wrong. You know, see see um, what the complications are in that, so that you can unravel it and get strong at being kind to yourself. Get strong at doing the things that lead to the outcome you want. Um, yeah, so. Um, that'll do for uh for now if if you want uh, the full version for a brief time only you can uh get hold of silver membership at a at a dirt cheap price on my website um yeah i'm going to um i'm gonna i put my mind to uh, uh doing this for a lot of quite a, a lot of key postures now breaking down uh triangle pose, triangle pose cobra uh, standing just lifting your arms and standing, um, um, uh, back, standing back bends, wheel. I, I was thinking of putting a, together a whole series of um, breaking it down kind of uh, approaches to different postures to make a to, to make a whole range of the full range of postures that um, you might want to play with, and you could you could get that by going through all my yoga solutions and. Uh, eking out the posture you like to play with but um yeah i kind of i kind of want to make it a bit more concrete for you a bit more solid so that um if you want to play with triangle you've got a, a series of each part um that you can access i'm not sure how to work it out but it'll be free for all premium members once i've done it um i've also got an idea to put do a series on chakras because they're they're very misunderstood i think and their value is missed in the misunderstanding. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. So look, look, uh, look forward to some some structured content that uh, hopefully you will find very useful. All right, my dears, I shall see you soon. Much love. Bye now.